Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushi Kara Sethia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. In this video we are going to learn how you can sync Zoho CRM modules data to MySQL database automatically. So first let us understand what these software applications are all about. So Zoho CRM is a CRM software application which can be used for sales, marketing, support and other business related activities and MySQL is a database management software. So the idea here is that whenever a new contact is added to your Zoho CRM contact list through the web form submissions, automatically a new record should get generated into your MySQL database so that a customer database can be created and it can be used for other business related activities. For this, we need to create a connection between Zoho CRM and MySQL. So in order to create a connection, we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Zoho CRM with MySQL automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So let us learn the integration process now on my screen. So welcome back to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. And you are going to get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the All Apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on Access Now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on Create Workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Zoho CRM to MySQL Integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want to sync our Zoho CRM module data to our MySQL database. For that, open this trigger window and choose the application name as Zoho CRM. Select the trigger event as new module entry instant. Click on connect, click on add new connection and click on connect with Zoho CRM. Now here we have to select the domain. Enter the domain your Zoho account belongs to. So here you can see that my Zoho account belongs to zoho.com. Okay, in the URL we can find it. So I am just going to paste the same over here that is zoho.com. You have to paste your domain over here and click on save. Now, as I am already logged into my Zoho accounts, it is asking Pabli Connect would like to access the following information. So, let's click on accept. Authorization successful and now the Zoho CRM account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now, here we have to select the module name. So, I want to create the contacts in my contacts section in the contacts module. So, I will be selecting my module name. Here you have to select your module name. And now, let's click on save and send test request. Do you wish to resend the request again? Let's click on yes. And now here we can see that it is waiting for the response. So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. It means we have to fill up the form on the name of a customer. For that, I'll just take you to my Zoho CRM account. And here I'll just click on the settings option. And here we can find the web forms option. So I'll just open a web form for you. Here I will be selecting uh, contacts and here in this contacts section I have created a form named contact form. I will just open the form and here I have taken the basic fields of the customer that is the first name, last name, email address and the mobile number. So if you want to add some more fields you can add it to the form as per your requirement. And I have embedded this contact form on a web page. Okay, so I will just open it over here. Okay, And now we are going to enter the details over here. Let us give the first name as Adam, last name as Smith, email address as adamsmith123 at gmail.com and mobile number as this. 
and let's click on submit. Okay, so we are redirected to Pavli. It means the form has been filled. Now let's move back to Pavli Connect. And here we can see the responses received and all the details of the form submission are captured over here. Okay, and here we can find the email address of the customer. And when we scroll down, we can find all other details also. Here we can find the full name. And uh, here we can find his contact number. And here we can find his last name. So now we want that using these details, automatically a new record should get generated into your MySQL database. For that, come to this action step. Choose the application name as MySQL. Select the action event as insert row. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the database username, database password, host, database and the port. Here you have to enter your login details that is the username and the password. For the host, you need to go to the MySQL account and here you can find the host. Okay, so you have to enter the host over here and here you have to enter the database so you can access the database. So my database name is dbuilder. So we have to enter the database name over here and for the port, we can find the port over here also that is 3306. So you have to enter your port over here. So after entering all these details, simply click on save and a connection will get created. So as I have already created a connection, I'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and I'll just click on save. And now my SQL account is connected to public connect. Now here we have to select the table name. So I have already created some tables in my my SQL database account over here. So we are going to access this Zoho CRM contact table. So I want all the contacts to be added to this particular table name Zoho CRM contact. So we have to select the same table name over here in public connect. So I'll just refresh it for the new items and we are going to select the table name that is Zoho CRM contact. Now here we have to give all the details that is the ID, first name and last name of the customer and all other details. So we have already got all these details from the Zoho CRM account over here from the trigger step. So we are going to map these details now. Okay. So let us map the ID from Zoho CRM and here let us search for the ID that is data zero ID. Now here we will be mapping the first name from Zoho CRM and the first name was Adam. In the same way let us map the last name also. So the last name was Smith. We will be mapping the email address from Zoho CRM and adamsmith123 at gmail.com this was the email address and at last we will be mapping the mobile number. So let us find the mobile number. Okay this was the mobile details. So we have entered all the details now let us click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means a new record is created in our MySQL database table. Let's check it. We have to just refresh our MySQL account. Okay, and here we can find the details of Adam Smith. First name as Adam, last name as Smith. Here we can find his email address and here we can find his mobile number. So in this way, we can see that a correct record is generated in our MySQL table and our integration is working fine. So let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now as we have created an automation between Zoho CRM and MySQL, automatically next time whenever any of your customer is going to fill the contact form using your Zoho CRM account, automatically using the details of the form submission, a new record will be created into your MySQL database table. So let us check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll just go to the contact form once again. And here we are going to fill up the details on the name of some other customer. And let us give the customer name as Vidushi, last name as Kalra, email address as Kalra v12 at the rate gmail.com. And let's add the mobile number and click on submit. Okay, so we are redirected to Pavli, it means the form has been submitted. Now we have to check our SQL database table. We have to refresh this account once again. Okay, and here we can see the details of Vidushi. Here we can find the first name as Vidushi, last name as Kalra. Here we can find her email address as well as the mobile number. And here we can find the ID also. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to public connect. 
and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Zoho CRM and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect has captured all the details through the web form submission and using those details through the form submission, automatically a new record was generated into a MySQL database table. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Zoho CRM and MySQL using Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.